Uh, speaking to me now is the WBO European lightweight champion, Craig Evans. How are you, Craig? How's it going? You good? Yeah, good, thanks, mate. Um, just before we go on to your next contest, uh, speaking about your, your previous fight in Ireland, was a, a rough, tough fight? What were your recollections of the, the night? Yeah, it was um, a good, hard fight against Stephen Ormond. Um, he came to give it a fight. We both um, met in the middle of the ring, literally, and had a, had a war like. And um, I came out on top, and um, it was a good, good fight to watch, I thought, like, and um, a bit scrappy at times, but um, I got the win, and that's all I meant. Um, did, did it make any difference to you fighting away from home, fighting in a, in a hostile environment? No, no, I don't mind fighting away from home. As long as I get a fight and I'm going to pay days, um, I'll fight anyway. So, wherever they chuck at me, I'll fight, and wherever it is, I, I, I'm not too bothered. Like. Um, were you worried at all about getting a, a fair decision in Ireland? No, no, I wasn't too worried because um, it was a good fight, and um, especially when I dropped in twice in the last round. And then uh, the one of the judges scored it like by ten rounds. So it had to be me, so it, it, it was no brainer. Like, um, uh, what the upcoming fights have you got now? I believe you've got a fight in the near future. Yeah, I'm fighting on the 9th of December on the Selby and the Gale undercard. Um, I think I'm only doing an eight rounder though. Um, I haven't got an opponent yet, but I'm um, just waiting and training towards that. I mean, ideally, who would you like to be facing in the near future? I believe you're highly ranked in the WBO World Ratings. Yeah, I'm ranked five now by them. So hopefully I'll have this quick eight-rounder now, get a business done, and hopefully Terry Flang has just vacated it. Hopefully I could challenge for the title and become world champion in the near future. Like, I mean, have you had any uh, word that, that might be the plan? Is, is that the plan the management have got for you? No, no, um, I haven't heard anything of it, but um, I'm the only one in the stable which is ranked by WBO and um, I'm ranked five so it'd be sense to try and get me a world title fight I've been training hard I'll fight anyone in front of me so I'd like to challenge for the world title yeah um, You've had a bit of a stop start career like you have a couple of fights and you have a break I mean how frustrating is it for you, you know the waiting in between fights Yeah it's frustrating because you're training and then they say you're fighting in January and then it could be in September and then it goes from September to November so it does get you down, but you just got to keep ticking away. you got to blank out your mind and just perform on the nights you have got to fight. like. And a lot of people don't realise it as well, how tough it is for boxers like yourself on ticket deals, having to sell a lot of tickets, having to you know, almost pay for your opponents, that type of thing. I mean, how tough is that as well? Yeah, yeah, it's um, tough, but um, I'm, I've signed a promotion deal with Frank Warren. I've been with him since the start, so I don't have to sell tickets. I'm lucky like that because I always fight in a way and in Liverpool, Manchester, and in Scotland and vice versa. It's hard for me to sell tickets when I fight in a way all the time. But then when I fight in a dome in Cardiff, I do sell tickets like. So it is hard for boys like that, but keep plugging away and just get up the rankings. And have you got any uh, message to any of your fans who might want tickets for your, your upcoming fight? Anyone who wants tickets, um, get to me on Facebook or my old man Darren Evans on Facebook. And um, got tickets 50 quid and um, upwards if you want any more zero ones but I got 50 standards so be great for support if you could come and make it like and I, I've spent the morning you watching you train in St Joe's Boxing Club in Newport I mean um, how, how, how helpful is it for you that I've been in such a, a stable of such quality boxers oh it's great um, St Joe's are definitely on the rise now we got um, Tony Borg pushing us all the time we got his son Junior he's grafting with us all the time so um, it's definitely on the rise um I can't remember the last time St. Joseph's Box have lost a fight. So, touch wood, I'll keep it going now on the ninth. <laughs> I hope I'm just cursed yourself, uh, Craig. <laughs> no, I'll be right, man. <laughs> Hard work.